So Betsy probably has that in her email reply right now. She probably does right now. That's I'm, I'm sure she does. Carmen, sure thank does. you. You knew all three of those, didn't you? I, you know, maybe at least two out of the three. Yeah. I, I was funny. I was cracking up over that. She I was. was. I was ready it was for entertaining. Turn. Turnt. That's was there, that, turnt. that was oh, added a while ago. Oh, was it? Turnt was. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fiddlesticks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Fiddlesticks. 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 That was added in 1944. I love that. Fiddlesticks. Oh, Fiddlesticks. That's probably Mississippi no people saying that. <laughs> Fiddlesticks. Well, any new weather that. terms that we need to know about this week? New weather terms. Hmm, I gotta think about that. Huh. Just throw them into I'm your weather. I'm gonna come up with something because you know I'm gonna be on the You have to now. You have to come up but with something. But I got something. something for you though. As oh, we start okay. this forecast, wonderful. I, there's something going on, perhaps down in your neck of the woods here. We got a film documentary festival going on. Check a look. Take a look at this, guys. Now, the 13th annual Chagrin Film Festival is happening today. It's already ongoing, though. It ends at 10 p.m. tonight. Upper 40s to low 50s. Yeah, it's going to be a chill in the air across northeast Ohio. Here's where we had it for the rest of the evening here. You can see we're kind of hanging out in the 50s, at least for the most part. But as Jay has been championing all day long, it is absolutely amazing out there across southeast, or at least northeast Ohio. we got a south wind coming in across the area right now, 5 to 10 miles per hour, so it's offering a little bit of an extra chill. But as I want to show you something here, we got a northwest wind just cruising right on in here across the area. You can see where the wider scan is showing that area of high pressure overperforming across the region. So this is what's kind of leading towards a little bit of warmth that we're uh, going to be expecting across northeast Ohio. 70s, so you can see there are 80 degrees down in Nashville. Not quite as warm as what we got in the, at least for the forecast over the next 24 to 36 hours. But we do have rain making its way back into the forecast and that arrives later tomorrow night. Here's the three things to know here. You can see a few clouds chilly overnight tonight. 40s, as I said before, to low 50s. Thursday, a cold front is moving in. I think the heart of the day and likely most of the day will be enjoying dry conditions, but the weekend outlook, we also got some dry conditions hopping back in the driver's seat as well. Here's your uh, National Design more Iowa by hour forecast. You can see a few clouds expected overnight tonight. 40s, even uh, possibly getting into the upper 30s as far as Dover, New Philadelphia is concerned. More clouds for the day tomorrow. Once we get past sunset, you see that trough begins to move on through. Frontal boundary arriving early in the morning there for Friday, and I think it it's all likely going to be a bit of a scattered shower type nature that it exits the region. We'll be stuck with some cloud cover in your union home market seven day for the heart of our Friday, likely getting some peaks of sunshine in the afternoon to evening hours and then lots of sunshine you can see lying ahead for the weekend. Much more coming up after the break.